Nita is leading a crucial new oncology project with a small team in London. The team, which also includes Carlos, Louise, and Padma, has weekly update meetings about the project. Nita expects her team members to speak up with any questions they may have and also notify her and the team of any problems or delays they've encountered. Nita sometimes gets frustrated with some of her team members' behavior during these meetings. Take Carlos, for example. He is a key scientist, but he won't speak much at the meetings. She knows he's got good ideas because he stops by her office every now and then to run them by her. Nita is beginning to wonder if she made a mistake hiring him. His background is impressive, and he came off so well during the interviews, in spite of his having earned his PhD at a little-known university in his home country. Maybe she should have followed her gut and only looked at the top schools. Padma is brilliant, and she has no problem speaking up. But it always seems like she gives a 10-minute speech with background information before she gets to the point. Nita would like to give Padma, who is on assignment from New Delhi, more responsibility. But her tendency to waste precious time by being so long-winded is causing Nita to lose confidence in her ability to lead. Louise is the only team member Nita is not concerned about. She finds ways to break into the conversation with relevant information and suggestions, and she's always concise and to the point. It seems like Louise is always coming up with the best ideas on the team, which doesn't surprise Nita, as Louise attended one of the top medical schools in the UK. Nita believes Louise has what it takes to be a leader.